How's it going, ladies and bruises? I'm Bobby Six Killer, and welcome back to the Nevada Initiative. It is time uh, to have a conversation with Ryuki, I suppose. I can't imagine that going well. But uh, it sounds like we need his help. For some reason. <laughs> Why are you here? Just having a mental breakdown, that's all. Don't worry about me. Date called me. Yeah. I told him to head over to the other cathedral. Does that mean he saw Uru's corpse in Tokiko's file? He did. Yep. And then he came here through the hidden passage. Why are you so far away? Why am I talking to you from here? This place doesn't look like I should be yelling and I'm gonna cause a fucking avalanche. You okay? He appears to at least be breathing. We can fix that. It might not be if there was rope and a branch in here. I saw we start growing a tree. <laughs> this has been eating at Ryuki for the past it six fucked. years. Sorry. <laughs> he regretted what he did and blamed himself. He betrayed Date and shot Mizuki Kuranushi with stun bullets. <laughs> and what happened to Mizuki, Date, and Kizuna on top of that? Yeah, Terra detonated the bomb, but it was Ryuki who told Date about this place. If he never did, Kizuna and Mizuki wouldn't have been hurt. That's what's been plaguing him. He started drinking, which made the whole thing worse. I don't care if he feels bad about it. I still don't forgive him. Good. Easy. He had his reasons. I also implemented a self-destruct program. If I activate it, she'll be lost forever. Like, that's sad and all, but it's an AI. Calm the fuck down. How about keys in it? I heard. So she eloped, huh? had nothing to do with the video. It was just Ryuki's active imagination. What about the self-destruct program in Tama? I was overhauled completely during maintenance a few years back, and that function was deleted. That's when Ryuki opened up about what happened. Why didn't you share this earlier? I couldn't. Ryuki betrayed Abyss. He did something you can't come back from. I couldn't let anyone find out. So you protected him. It's the same reason I didn't upload the investigation data from six years ago. I made an oath. No matter what, I'll... I will protect Ryuki. But Ryuki himself could have informed us sooner. You should know why he didn't do that. Why he gave in to Terror's demands. He wanted to protect his loved ones. Wouldn't you do the same? To protect... The AI. Come on. Come on. <sighs> About Ryuki? Do you hate Ryuki? Of course I do. I want to shove a pipe in his mouth and stir up his organs. Yikes. Six years ago, he... It made my heart condition worse. It affected my work. I can't investigate properly if I have to go to the hospital all the time. But when I heard you recently joined Abyss, I shadowed you. In February 10th, when you went to the stadium, I got there before you and found the corpse. At the time, I had no clue it was Uru's left half, but I knew it had to do with the HB case from six years ago. I told you before that the one thing I wanted was for you to live a normal life. I couldn't let you get caught up in this case. I had to stop you. That's why- You shot at us. I see. You shot at Mizuki to dissuade her from finding the corpse. You don't know Mizuki at all, huh? Even though you are Mizuki. <laughs> Seems she's a little pissed. Yeah, just a tad. Do we have a data on the other side? Hello. Two cathedrals? Marco, can you send Iba the data? Got it. Opening it. It is a cross section of the two cathedrals. You get it now? There's one on the east and one on the west. Terror blew up the west one. This one, right here. Which happens to be the same side Ryuki met Terror. What he called his execution chamber. On the east side was Uru's corpse in Tokiko's file. And that mysterious box. The one connected to the Nice building is the east one. You can take the elevator up to the president's office. 
That box is definitely going to be something important inside. How have we never really, like, figured out what's in there yet? Ryuki, you made a mistake. Wait, did we scan it? But lying around here in all your misery isn't going to fix anything. If you really regret what you did, solve this case. That's the only way to atone. Ryuki, I remember one night we went out drinking. You told me about your little brother. You always talk about him when you drink. You made him a promise, right? He said, I'll become a hero of justice. Half might. If I've fallen, I just need to get back up again. You used to say it all the time. It doesn't matter how many times you fall. As long as you have a body to do it, you climb back up again. Come on, Ryuki. Climb above the debris. It doesn't matter if you're pitiful. It doesn't matter if you show vulnerability. You struggle, you crawl, and you make it back to the top. That's what we do. That's what makes us human. Mr. Date. Everyone, I... I... Ryuki, now's not the time to cry. Come climb up here. You mean... Don't get me wrong. I'll only forgive you after we solve this case. So... <laughs> okay. She might change her mind when she's on her deathbed, though. After that, we all shared information. Aiba, Tama, and Mariko shared everything. Oh, man. Date received everything as well via the, the device implanted in his eye socket. Anything that wasn't recorded electronically, we shared verbally. Wow. Imagine that. Talking with our mouths. Everything from six years ago. Everything from this year. All the information, including Somnia from top to bottom. So, the first thing on the agenda is stopping the Nirvana Initiative. When... Where? How? We don't know anything about it. Hmm? We should know everything except where. Tama shared all her data, right? I did receive the information. I didn't give it a close look. Ryuki, can you tell us more about the Nirvana Initiative? Yeah. I'll explain everything in order. First, Terror, Uru, created a video. Yeah, go on. Uru created three videos. QR video, Nirvana Trial, and Nirvana X. The QR video was the first. The QR code on the signboard in Jin's body. That was a link to the video, right? Right. So it was first made public six years ago, on February 10th. The motive was... There was a small part of my plan. It's the prototype. There were stories about people who went missing after watching the video, but... It's just a little bit watching. It was actually the second video that caused people to go missing, the Nirvana trial. You can. It was uploaded on February 9th. Back when Uru was still alive. But what for? I think it was a beta version of Nirvana X, the third video, for testing purposes for the main event. Testing what? There was a code, like BATS 490, in the Nirvana trial video. That code led to the Eastern Cathedral. The coordinates led to the staircase. Yeah, but that door has tons of locks. Right, but the staircase had another code. By solving that, you could collect the numerous keys located all over the city. And those who did solve everything would be able to unlock the door to the Eastern Cathedral. Did you notice the box? Inside was a device that shot TC Purge. If you open the box, it triggers. When it enters the brain, it can even overwrite the DNA structure inside neurons. It can make you see things, make you dance. It makes you do weird things over and over. And it spreads in the air. If this virus gets out somehow, the human race is in for a rough trip. Can you picture it? The whole world going crazy, people everywhere doing the unpredictable things, crazy things, over and over. I'll be honest. 
I contracted TC Perch because I opened the box. But it's okay. Ryuki has developed a resistance to it. And he can't spread it either. Having said that, TC Purge is still a problem. Before the body develops a resistance, it can spread. Not to mention the neurons that are damaged can't be repaired. That's why Ryuki was acting weird. Is that what it looked like? When I was infected with TC the Purge, thing. my symptoms got worse. Disorientation, short-term memory loss, hallucinations. He's been seeing hallucinations for six years now. The mental trauma of what happened to his brother. Anyway, those who solved the code and opened the box contracted TC Purge. And as a result, they started acting strangely. And now, there are people dancing and riding in the streets. And a lot of suicides. I see. These people would have no motivation to return home. That's why so many people went missing. In other words, Uru's experiments were a success. He's dead now, but his plan is still alive. I'm guessing his lackeys are carrying out the plan now. To raise the curtain on the main event. I think I know what they're gonna do. They're gonna shoot the rocket somewhere. With TC Purge on the warhead. The rocket will explode. And the virus will spread? Yeah. Most likely, yes. Tons of people will get infected with TC Purge. It will grow in their bodies. And inevitably spread. From one person to another. If we do things that are beyond the comprehension of the designer, simultaneously, all around the world, bugs will start appearing everywhere. This will lead all mankind to reach Moksha, an emancipation from this fictional world. That is the Nirvana Initiative. Even if this Nirvana thing turns out to be bullshit, the virus itself is a problem. Right. I don't know if it will really cause glitches to appear or anything, but it'll be mass hysteria. There is already an uptick in suicides. When's the plan gonna happen? The final video, Nirvana X, is already public. There's a seven digit number, which is probably a time and a date. February 15th, 12 o'clock. Noon, today. Iba, what time is it now? 7.55 a.m. We barely have four hours left. Where's it gonna happen? Is it Mesotan rooftop again? Well... We don't know. My guess is the other letters that were in the video are some kind of code too. Maybe they point to a location. No. I converted the letters to numbers and checked the coordinates. It's an area in the Pacific Ocean. No land around. I don't think those coordinates are where the plan is happening. Then where could it be? Oh, I remember something BB said earlier. The culprit who killed Uru and Tokiko. Maybe they have a clue. Right. Well, in that case... There is... One person. I don't know if they're the culprit, but... They might have some valuable information. I didn't know where to find them before. But I've got a good idea now. That person... She's... Probably with Shoma. Oh, well, Mama. Who else would be with Shoma? I understand. I'll tell you the truth. Big sis! Amame! The corpse in the freezer at Brahmin. I'm the reason it's there. It's my fault. Six years ago, February 11th, my father called me here. Shoma wasn't here. Only my father and half a corpse. Mabe told us that Jin's body was hidden under the floor. The same half body that was in the suitcase. Mame said that she'd take care of it. She brought it to Gen and stored it in the freezer at Brahman. We knew that. Geni didn't do anything wrong. I asked him to do it. 
Then Shoma has nothing to do with this. He just found out too. Mame, that's not what we're here to ask. We're looking for the person who killed Terror and Tokiko. What? Terror is dead? We didn't have time to explain everything. We told them about Terra's identity and the Nirvana Initiative as quickly as we could. You can tell us more about what you know at the station. Amame, will you come with us? No, no! I don't care what you say! You can't take Big Sis away! I agree with Shoma. I don't want you taking Amame away. What's the problem? We just want to talk. Wait, Amame, did you kill Terror and Tokiko? What are you saying? Amame didn't kill anyone! Way to make it seem like that's true. The reason we want to talk to Mame? Mame, you know something important, don't you? Something about the Nirvana Initiative and Terror. Maybe something about Tokiko. That's what we're here to find out. Oh my god. Let's just go with any of them. Six years ago, on February 13th, you saw Terror. Oh, that's right, Mame. in the studio. At studio Devita? What happened back then? What did he say? You still haven't told us. I looked into her head yesterday, but there was nothing on what happened at Devita. But in the Somnium, Mame said... Nirvana... Collected... Genocide... Which would mean you know something about the Nirvana Initiative. Five days ago, on February 10th, did you meet with Tokiko? We don't have hard evidence, but a witness saw you. Anyway, Mame headed into Horadori Institute by herself. I saw another person follow her in right after. It was Tokiko. Tokiko Shigure, president of Nice Japan. Oh my god, we're gonna have to look in her head again. She's doing the whole dot dot dots. You're getting dot dot dots for breakfast today. Ryuki looked into Tokiko's head. Three days ago, on February 12th. He saw Tokiko threatening someone. I saw everything. If you don't do as I say, I'm sure you know where this is going. Could Tokiko have been threatening you, Amame? Dot dot dot. Um, well... I know this is a touchy subject, so let me say it. Terror killed Komeji, your father. It stands to reason that you absolutely despise Terror. Are you saying she killed him? That's ridiculous! She's making this pretty sus at the moment by not answering any questions. Although everybody seems to do that around here. <sighs> Move aside. Sorry. I can't let you do that. I came here to protect Amame. Date. If only you didn't find the body in the freezer. Hey, aren't you dead? Den, she can't be prosecuted for that crime. The statute of limitations for abandoning a corpse is three years. She can't get arrested for hiding the corpse six years ago. But... I just can't let you... Gen, you're not making any sense. Hold on. Are you hiding something? Amame accepted every part of me. Isn't he dead? She saw me for who he I was. He got shot in the back like a it million times. It was not of pity or sympathy. Her accepting me came naturally, like it was nothing. I've never met anyone like her, and I need to care for her, the way she's cared for me. I promise to protect Amame, so I can't let you. Kenny. That's all the more reason, then. If you really have those feelings for her... If we do nothing, Terror will accomplish his mission. A terrible virus is going to spread. The world will devolve into chaos. No one will be safe. Not even Amame. No. So you need to help us. We need Mame's information to stop this plan. Amame must know something. Are you okay with ruining her future? Don't you want to protect She's her? She's obviously okay with ruining her own future, so... Because like everyone else, she just clammed up as soon as you ask her questions. Why are you protecting Mame? That's dumb. I mean, you're protecting Mame because you're her brother. Duh. <laughs> She's my sister! 
We're not here for that. But... I have a bad feeling. A bad feeling? If she's not guilty of anything, then that's all the more reason you can't take her. I'm not gonna let anyone drag her away. If she's not guilty of anything, she'll come straight back. I already lost my dad. If you take Big Sis, I'm gonna... I'm... When I was in first grade, Big Sis gave me a radio-controlled toy. That's how I got into building things. She took me to robot expos and bought me books and parts. And she's working hard to save money to send me to college. These last six years have been hell. It was hard and painful. Sometimes I wanted to die, but she's always cheered me up and supported me. During all of the gene therapy. Big Sis always protected me. Now it's my turn to protect her. She's more important to me than my own life. So, so, if you're gonna take her, you're gonna have to kill me first. Shoma. <laughs> They're acting like we're gonna like take her away and execute her or something. We just wanna ask her a fucking question. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Shoma. Do you hate terror? The man who killed your father? <laughs> Terror's plan is still ongoing. The Nirvana Initiative? It's going to bring nice madness to the whole world. We need to talk to Mame in order to stop it. Do you want Terror to win? Don't you want to stop his plan? Destroy his ambitions? Isn't that the only way to get closure for your father's death? If you resent Terror, if you want revenge, please. We need your help, Shoma. Should encourage revenge. <sighs> Sigh. Robot? You finished that robot, right? Oh, uh, yeah. You named it Roboji, huh? Yeah, it's the second one. Like a second child, so I named him Roboji. He's much more powerful than before. It can hold so much more weight than the previous model. Wait a minute, who cares? Could you people just leave? Push a button. Remote control. Um. We don't have much time. We need to do something about Shoma and Genny. I don't know why we can't just ask her a question and have her answer it, and then we can leave. Does she want Tara to win? Did you get rid of the Cleone in the fridge? No. What? Oh, it has. What? The TC Perch? I told you already. I've developed a resistance to it. But your brain's neurons were still affected, right? Yeah, but those symptoms are being held in check with some special medicine. It's not mass-produced, so we can't give it to too many people, if that's what you're thinking. Special medicine, eh? Can we just leave? <laughs> I hate him. Uh Addresser? Trophy. Closet? No way. A thermite bomb. A what? You're right. It sure is. That little... Hey, Shoma. What is this? It's a bomb. A thermite bomb. I know that! Then why did you ask? Why is it here? I made it. You made it? Thermite reactions are pretty simple. You can make one easily using common products. But why did you make it? Well... For Mame? To get revenge for my dad. I wanted to get terror. You were going to use this on him? Yeah, but I guess it has no use now. Terror is dead, right? Damn it! You just made the situation so much worse. Let's decide what to do about that later. Right. There is a more pressing issue. What are we going to do? The two of them aren't going to budge. <sighs> I really don't want to do this. 
But if we have to use force... No! You can't do this! Yeah, I won't let you take Big Sis! Yeti... Shoma... That's enough. Amame... Big Sis... I'm still not sure how Guinea's still alive. It's okay. I'll come back right away. Promise. You better make me do a sync with you. Are you sure? Yeah. Just answer the you question. Promise. I promise. Save us all now, the broken history. Let's go. Save us all the uh, the necessary looking into your brain thing. My God. You could have just told us. <laughs> Why do we have to do things the hard way? Every time. Why? <laughs> I'm gonna wrap Is this Ryuki one up. Is gonna be okay? We left him there. Well, we had to. We couldn't just leave the bomb unattended. So you left Ryuki to keep an eye on things. Yes. The most trusted member of Abyss. He, he's never done anything crazy. <laughs> the bomb squad should be headed to Shoma's house right now. It's quite a shock, though. Amame was the one who killed Uru and Tokiko. But she didn't admit to that. I never said that. But she's suspicious as all hell, isn't she? She has been from the start. You know, remember I said right at the beginning, I don't like her. She's sus as. <laughs> Regardless of how suspicious she is, she should know something about the Nirvana Initiative. When Ryuki synced into her yesterday, he didn't find anything. Do not worry. I received the Somnium data from Tama. Because we are returning for a second time, we should be able to go deeper than we did previously. Alright, we're ready to go. Alright, we're gonna wrap this one up here. Because we're out of time. Well, it's a little bit early. But you know, we know the sink is gonna take half an hour to an hour. So uh, I wanna dedicate an entire video to that. Because that'll be probably the end, won't it? Wow. Plus, you know, stopping the thing. But you know. Anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next one.